What's up guys, T-Max here, and, oh you stink, oh my gosh, oh it's on my hands, you stink. What's up guys, T-Max here, and it's been a while since I made a video, the last video was about when we had to put Kane down, it was a really big downer for us, and it probably bummed you out as well, and I took a little break because of all that and some health issues that followed. Uh, with Angel and me, but I wanted to make a video saying that we'll never forget him and we'll never stop loving Kane. We're doing better. You know, we, we both loved him and just needed some time to grieve and get our bearings back. So I just want to make this video to introduce you to the new member of the family, Noodle. Noodle Bug! Noodle Bug! Was it black? You better go, boy. You better go. You better run, boy. You better run, Noodle Strudel. Noodle Strudel, Noodle Poodle. So as you can tell, Noodle has a lot more energy than Kane did. He, Noodle has probably run more in one day than Kane did the whole year that I knew him. <laughs> so vicious. So vicious. He really likes it when you play football with him. Catch! You suck! So this is Noodle, and he is. I guess he's like a pit, maybe mixed with a French Bulldog. And he's usually really playful, but I think because of the camera, he's a little freaked out. Usually he's like super duper energetic. But now he's all contemplative and stuff. Well, we got him this cool crate right here that's almost like a reinforced cage looking thing with a mat in it. But he was crate trained, so he feels very comfortable laying in the crate. More comfortable than laying on a bed. And we got him a bed too, but he prefers this thing. Is that your toy, little buddy? Yeah, you do it. Angel has had Noodle for about three or four years. She rescued him three years ago, and about a year ago, Angel moved in with me. She had three dogs at the time, Kane, Hodges, and Noodle. They all started fighting, so we kept Kane, and we gave Hodges to a really nice family where we're from, and uh, Noodle went with one of Angel's exes. Well, uh, recently, that ex is not able to keep Noodle. Sadly, we lost Kane, um, through cancer, but now we have Noodle. And he likes playing with his toys. He likes playing with your toys. Yes. Noodle really likes to, he, he really likes to lick your ear, which I don't ever let him because it's disgusting. Disgusting. It's sexual harassment. You shouldn't let him lick you in the ear either. <laughs> noodle, strudel, noodle, strudel, noodle, strudel, noodle, strudel, noodle, strudel. <laughs> Anus liquor! Newton! 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 Oh! Oh! The football! He's a strong little guy. He won't let go unless it's on accident, but if I do this, he lets go. It's weird. And you just throw it. Bring me the ball. Now, where is the ball? Where is the ball? Oh, he has a pet. He's gonna come back around. Give me that ball! Oh, you better give me that ball, ball. You better give me that ball. Here he comes. You better give me that ball, ball. You better give me that ball. Give me that ball. Give me that ball. You can't trick me, ball. You can't trick me, ball. You can't use your paws. That's cheating. Running around the rose ball. <laughs> I got the ball, stupid. Give me the ball. 
Give me the, the ball. Uh, give me the ball and noodle. Oh, he's scared of the camera. No, tell us the ball. Go get the ball. I got you cornered. Did you forfeit the ball because you're scared, little noodle? Why don't you go get the ball? Why don't you get the ball? Why don't you get the ball? Why don't you get the ball? Get the ball? Oh, is that your safe place? Are you in your safe place? Let's see what happens when we let old noodle bug out. Huh? Go noodle. I would show you more of what's going on outside with noodle, but like her neighbor has like an NPR radio station going on pretty loud because he's old and pretty deaf. It's pretty funny to see noodle run all around. He chases squirrels and chipmunks and uh, he takes it pretty seriously. I like to think that the chipmunks and the squirrels are making drug deals, but with nuts. And he's like an enforcer of nut law or something like that. As for Kane, like I said, we really miss him and no dog, not even Noodle can replace him. And I wanted to show you guys some of the things that we got in memory of Kane. His vet sent us a sympathy card uh, with heartfelt sympathy. It's got like a park and a couple of paw prints. And it says, although it's difficult today to see beyond the sorrow, may looking back in memory help comfort you tomorrow. With love, town and country West Vet Clinic, doctor and staff, and then a little heart. We thought that was really nice. We had Kane cremated so that, you know, we could always kind of have him with us. And we used, I believe it was Dreamland Cremation Services. And they gave us this really pretty, well, I mean, it was like a package. And part of the package was, you know, he was cremated and, you know, he was placed into this container and it's like a, a pretty nice wood and it has these nice floral design in it, but his ashes are in here inside of a plastic bag in case we wanted to transfer his ashes to maybe something different. Another part of the package was that they would take samples of his fur from different parts of his body. And there's a poem that kind of, that they have in their package that talks about where each snippet of hair came from. I hope you can see it. This is obviously cane hair, cane the white bear, the polar bear, the yeah, and this green bowl, this is Kane's food bowl. Uh, we cleaned it and kept it. It's a big memory thing for Kane because Kane freaking loved food. I don't know, he loved it more than anything. And that was one of the things that we knew that it was time to ease Kane's suffering is when he didn't even want to eat anymore. He was always, you know, whimpering in pain. And so we just, you know, he had no joy in his life anymore. He only knew pain and that's when we knew it was time to let him go. This is the piece of Kane's bed that Angel tore off uh, to just kind of keep his scent. This is like a fluffy top. She cut it out and put it in a Ziploc bag. We also kept Kane's leash and it has, it has his name on there as well as Angel's contact information. And then another part of that uh, Dreamland package was a paw print from Kane and this isn't really hard and so Angel knows somebody who does ceramics who maybe can fire this for us and make it you know less fragile but you can really see like the bits of hair that were in Kane's little uh, paw pads it's a good set of memories but we take all those things and we place them right up here on our mantle essentially that's all I wanted to say is that we're very happy and blessed that we got to know Kane and spend the time we got to with him and that we're happy that Noodle is now here and we hope to love him like we loved Kane. And also thank you guys so much for all your support, all the kind and encouraging things you guys uh, commented in the video where I talked about us having to put Kane down. Just thank you for that. Well guys, that's really it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope that you guys grow to love Noodle as much as we do. Have a great day. And until next time, T-Max out.